Hello, hello everyone. Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Going to review this Friday morning some of my trades and some spikers in general. Take some lessons away from this morning. So let's just jump into it. EFOI um, traded this as a multi-day bounce, <laughs> and unfortunately, I didn't size up, so I was extra patient with this. I had an entry at 242, 500 shares, failed to add into this dip here, and then it started moving higher considered selling at 271 uh, it was all on live stream um today and then thought okay well all these other movers all these other multi-day bounces have been moving pretty nicely recently and i thought it could push higher than this and get to maybe three was too patient and ended up diving back and stopped out for a penny gain um as it was breaking down here so nothing crazy here, just a scratch, but had the right idea. Could have been a solid gain, over 10%, locking in 30 cents or so. Uh, just, you know, got a little greedy, but I also had very small size, so I was going to give it that chance to move. So it just didn't work out. And now that it should be failing and finishing red, ideally this does fail some more. It is still pretty close to the highs. Ideally it fails and then people really view it as a discount and start buying it up some more leading to um, Shorts being on their toes and start covering their position Here I just don't think there was enough buying to really prop this up and hold it up even more to really scare shorts <clears throat> Excuse me as it's not that far off the highs and I just don't think many people viewed this as <clears throat> Excuse me again as a discount for them to dip by so if this does continue to fail i'll be really excited if it cracks below two for a potential bounce but also not going to ignore the fact that it's holding up here too if this could for any reason come back for a high at daybreak or reclaim vwap just start failing to break down past red to green and start building back it is a low float and it does have the ability to move pretty quickly so We'll keep this on watch for the rest of the day if it does shape up. But as of now, ideally this does fail and we could play this next week. Um, <clears throat> a little lesson here between RDBX and COGT. I took RDBX, probably one of my best trades ever. Not size-wise, I didn't make the most money ever. It was only 300 shares I had at... Or, no, this is the wrong one. <clears throat> Here's RDBX at 10.63 as it was failing to break down, holding up high a day, right below the 11 breakout. We got a solid double top, and I thought if it could break here, we could test 15, which pretty much did that, just 30 cents below, not that bad. <clears throat> so we get the solid uptrend, the failure to break down, kept holding VWAP, and I really like the low flow. So that's what made me choose RDBX over COGT, where this one was setting up nicely. It was checking off a lot of things that we always talk about. Look for the gapper that's holding up nicely on the day, failing to break down. You should be able to get more pushing higher, more push higher after it fails to break down as shorts cover their position. And here we had a break over nine. So could have been something here as it was holding the high from the morning. Holding right around 9, 920, the breakout level, holding VWAP, uptrending, everything was checking off. I just didn't like the float. So I thought this would be a slower mover, and I thought I had a better chance of a strong move from RDBX, which ended up being right. I got 25% out of this here. Um, is there a 20% opportunity here? I didn't really do the math. Um, hmm, just about. But I also didn't get the top or anything, so this ran even more. So that's really it, what it came down to. A lot of these things were checking off the boxes we talk about. They're checked off between both of these plays. But I really like the float of 10.6 million on a Friday, something that's failing to break down over the past month here, pretty much. So I thought swing shorts will get destroyed if it breaks and confirms 11. I did get in a little premature, prematurely, but... I was just recognizing this momentum, the volume starting to increase, the dip on lower selling volume, 
it held up here, failed to break down on low volume, showing there is some strength behind this. And I was just patient. I recognize how throughout this week, plays have been pushing a lot further than expected. So I decided to be very patient with this. So I got it at 10, 10, uh, 1063. Here, I had a little bit of a hard time holding up almost 10%. I want to lock in my gains, but it never really broke down. It held 11, confirmed the breakout, and probably should have been a place where I added, but I didn't. Just want to sit tight and let my uh, position just run. And from there, we got a clean move. And this is why I like. It wasn't super quick, just parabolic. But over the span of 20 minutes or so, we're moving $2 a share, 20%. Not too bad. Nothing really else to say until it really got vertical. And I felt like I was getting greedy. I was going to hold. And here I was really considering the 1263 um, area to sell into, locking in $2 a share, not being too greedy, taking a good portion of the move. But then I saw how quickly it was jumping, and I'm like, okay, let's sit tight. Let's see what we could get. And then it just bursts higher. And in this choppiness, I get out at 1327. So solid 25% move that I lock in. And here we are topping out right below 15. So we'll see what happens here. It is a low float on a Friday. If this does fail to break down again, could possibly see a break past new highs. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over why I chose RDBX over COGT, even though this one was a nice play. It really just came down to the float. And even though in hindsight here, yes, this, this held, the volume was there. I was just more comfortable with something that was lower float and rotating the float at a better rate. Here, we're rotating it roughly already on the day four times, four or five times, and then COGT here just twice. So, putting that in comparison to each other, I just liked RDBX. Um, another play today that was a good call on the live stream, just did not <laughs> trade it at all. Where is it? Where is it? PBST. We got a solid red to green move. Here, this thing, we got a solid push, over 200% mover yesterday. And what did it do today? It bottomed out, failed to break down right around 1, 90 cents here. Saw so it as a double bottom. It barely cracked here. So we're not looking at the exact price to hold, even though that is pretty cool to see sometimes. It's more of a zone, an area that you're looking for to hold. And the fact that this had a fake out breakdown and started climbing back with a little bit of volume behind it, some buying. I was considering maybe taking a position on a red to green move and see if it could retest previous high in the 150s, which is exactly what happened here. Um, I was just a hes bit hesitant. Not something I typically trade here. Up a lot. Decided just be patient and wait for the multi-day bounce. But nonetheless, a pretty good call there. Uh, but that's all I got today. Two for two. I... Don't even want to count UFOI. It should have been a really nice, not even a um, nice gain, just nice execution of the pattern. Uh, I just thought it could go higher, so my mistake there. But we saw how that thinking ended up working out with RDBX, and this did push a lot further than I expected. Um, I did think it could get to 15, but you know I trade pretty conservatively, just taking 10 15%, and it blew past that. Locked in another 10%. So grateful for that. Finishing the week on a good note. Besides that, I really don't know what else to keep an eye on. EFOI might be, for now, one that I keep an eye on for a multi-day bounce if it could fail to break down. But ideally, that fails. And then we got RDBX, if this thing could hold up and offer a late day Friday short squeeze. Let me just jump through the scanners here, see if I could leave you guys with anything. Low price, low price, not a huge fan. Da, 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 da. RDBX and COGT, those seem to be the main ones holding up, holding their gains. And like we usually talk about, that's going to be where the attention is going to be. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm so far done trading for the rest of the day until something perfect sets up. Until then. 
it's a wrap. Just take your couple quick trades and let your singles add up. That's all you can do. So, bit of a longer video lesson. We'll just wrap it up there. Hope you guys took away something. Um, going over float and trend, price action, the way things hold. And yeah, we'll just wrap it up there. Have a great day. We'll be back later on. If there is any action, I'll make another video lesson. But besides that, I'll alert stuff on Twitter. So keep an eye out there at Pack-A-Punch Traders. Have a great one, everyone.